Pruning anything is an art form. Pruning roses is particularly interesting to do because it is not only the art and the science behind it, you also need major protective equipment or you're gonna to have to take a trip off to the hospital. We're gonna talk specifically about pruning shrub roses, starting with the word shrub rose. These are not the same sorts of roses as the floribundas or the grandiflores, the ones we grow for those big beautiful flowers that go 12 in a box at Valentine's Day. They're actually hardy shrubs. And we get a lot of questions, especially as we come into August or September, about how to prune the shrub roses, and then again in the spring. Let's start with fall pruning. We don't, unless you really have a very large one and you wanna take it down a little bit so it doesn't break in the winter months. The shrub roses realistically should be pruned in the spring as close to the end of frost date as we can possibly get. And ideally you prune as that new foliage is breaking before it is completely totally fully emerged. As with anything that we prune, we prune out first to get rid of the dead or the damaged canes in this case. Then we take a look with roses in particular at how congested or how tangled up the interior of the plant is. To be able to, to stay healthiest, even if these are resistant roses, resistant to black spot, powdery mildew, all those diseases that can attack roses, resistant does not mean they will never get anything. And if they don't have good air circulation, especially in the interior of the plant, the likelihood of those roses becoming diseased becomes greater. So we look at opening up the interior of the plant. We also then look at the spacing on the canes and how big the canes are and where they're attached on the plant. We don't want things that are crossing. We don't want canes that are smaller than the size of a pencil because they are unlikely to be healthy canes. We wanna take a look at cutting back to an outward facing bud or bud eye when they are not fully expanded. And unlike so many things in the pruning world, we make our pruning cut above those buds by about a quarter to a half an inch. We don't wanna cut into the bud because we're not really dealing with fully woody tissue. And when you make that pruning cut, whether it is during the right season of the year or whether it is too early, you're going to end up likely with some dieback. If you're too close to the bud, the bud itself is going to die. We also make those pruning cuts at a 45 degree angle with the bud to be able to shed water away from the bud. And we make those cuts above two five to seven leaf leaflets. If you go too high on the plant to a three leaf leaflet, you're unlikely to get any flowering. So we open up the interior, we take out the dead, the diseased, the damaged, we make those pruning cuts, we feather those cuts so that we're at different heights in the plant. We also wanna make sure as we're doing our pruning or our pruning cuts that we don't come in with something that's going to shred the tops of those roses. We don't use, if we can possibly help it, anything that is mechanical other than the mechanics of your own elbows and some elbow grease.